Okay, let's go ahead and begin. Um, today, we're going to be covering how to divide numbers that are in scientific notation. Starting off, um, you're going to use your, for today, it'll be division of exponents properties. Remember, um, the one that in particular we're going to use will be the one that looks like this. If you have x to the 8th over x to the 6th. Remember when we did this, um, I taught you a couple different ways. One, I said if the bases are the same and it's division, um, you can just write out all of the x's. So we've got 8 on top and then 6 on bottom. And then we cancel. And you were left with 2 on top. So we called that 2 x to the second power. Um, and then after doing this for a while, um, I think people started realizing, oops, started realizing that there's a, a quicker way to do it, um, that really it's just the same as finding the difference between the two. Um, if the bases are the same and it's division, all we have to do is subtract those, those exponents, um, which is a little bit quicker, but we get the same answer. Today, I really am going to need you to work on this method. Um, to be able to use this for scientific notation. Okay. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to split your your uh, parts. You're going to have your numbers on the left hand side and the exponents on the right hand side, just like we did with multiplication. You're going to use your division property, um, a division of exponents property here, to subtract the exponents, um, and then you're actually going to divide the numbers. So let's go ahead and dive into an example. Before we get into division, I just want to do a quick review of uh, multiplication. So, because there's a lot of similarities. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the 3.2 times 5.4. And then we're going to bring down our x, because all of this is going to be multiplied by um, our exponents. So really, all we did is regrouped here. We took our exponents and pushed them over here, and we took um, the whole or the um, numbers out front and put those over here. Now we're actually going to multiply this, but you now when we can use a calculator, 3.2 times 5.4, and when we do that, we get 17.28. Bring our x straight down, and now over here we're going to use our multiplication of exponents rules. Now notice. This one is multiplication. These numbers are being multiplied by each other. So the multiplication rule said to add the exponents. So we're going to take 10 to the 4 plus 3. So we get 10 to the 7. This is a review from yesterday. When it's multiplication like this, we add the exponents. What we're doing tonight is division. And we're going to subtract those exponents. But we'll get to that in just a second. I want to finish up this review problem. The reason why it's not finished is because right now it's not written in scientific notation. We need to take it one step further and move this decimal over to the right so that it's 1.728. Now that is fitting our scientific notation form properly, um, we put it times 10. But because we moved the decimal um, once, we're going to have to add one, one more to the exponent. And we get 1.728 times 10 to the 8th power. Oh, okay, so again, what we did, we regrouped. We used our rule for multiplication, which told us we can add, because these two numbers are being multiplied by each other. And then we put it back in scientific notation and called it good. Today's is going to be very similar. I want you to regroup. First, you're going to take the 4.6 divided by the 9.2. Notice that the difference between today's problems and yesterday's problem is that this is division, yesterday's was multiplication. So now I regroup that there, and I'm going to pull uh, my 10 to the 9th over 10 to the 6th over here. You notice we've just kind of separated these two out. We're going to do them one at a time. I'm going to use the calculator for the division part and type in 4.6 divided by 9.2. I get 0 0.5. I bring my x straight down. And now this is one of the main differences. For our division of 
properties, they say, uh, division of exponent property, it says that if the bases are the same in its division, then all we have to do is find the difference of the exponents. So we take 9 minus 3, and we get 6. Or excuse me, 9 minus 6, and we get 3. Now, just to recap, what we did yesterday, we had to add the exponents because it was multiplication. Today, it's division, so we're going to subtract the exponents. That's a big difference. Make sure you get that. The last thing we're going to do is now we're going to put this in scientific notation. Because the zeros here were technically not there quite yet, so we need to move it over to the right one. So we're going to get 5.0. Now we're in scientific notation. Yesterday, we had when we had to move it to the left, we added one to this exponent. Today, we're going to be subtracting one because we're moving it the other way. So notice yesterday, everything we did with exponents, we added. Today, everything we're going to do with the exponents, we're going to subtract. And we're there. Let's look at one more example. First, we're going to regroup. Then we're going to type into our calculator 4.8 divided by 6, and we get 0 0.8. Bring the x straight down. And by the way, this should be telling us that we're not quite in scientific notation, so we know we're going to have to do that extra step. Look over here, our exponents, remember, all we have to do is subtract. We start with the top minus the bottom. And I'm with the integers. If it helps, go ahead and use your calculator and type in negative 7 minus 6. When you do that, you're going to get 10 to the negative 13 power. We're not quite in scientific notation. We need to move this decimal over 1 to get 8. Um, or we could put 8.0, either one works, times 10. And because we moved it to the right one, we're going to subtract one more from here. And type that into your calculator, negative 13 minus 1. This is negative 14. One of the big tricks today is going to be remembering with our negatives exactly how to subtract uh, integers like this. So really use your calculator if needed. Uh, and make sure it comes into scientific notation when we're all done. Okay, I hope that helps. Uh, yeah, have a good night and good luck.